Hello, Sag. Welcome to your end of June general and love read. Just want to pull out whatever wants to come out. Um, the last 10 days of June, whatever, whenever this hits you, whenever this gets to you, I'm really not a time stickler. I just put dates out there for you. But for the next, whenever you get this, the next seven days or 10, seven to 10 days, the world in reverse, okay? So this is the utmost energy I'm getting for your read for the end of June. I get the full card here at the bottom. So maybe what you don't see is that there's a possible new beginning coming your way. Um, there may be a chance for you to just, uh, something may be coming up where you just have to take a leap of faith and just trust that the universe brought something into your life um, for you to just, uh, I don't know, I, I want to say enjoy. <laughs> take a leap of faith and go. It might be something a little out of the ordinary for you, but I feel like you're going to have a lot of fun um, if you decide to go at this in a more of a child, childish, playfulish way. So I do feel like... Um, it could be something like that. It could be Aquarius too in your life, but um, it could also mean that you just want to go on a new journey. Maybe you're just getting, you're feeling stuck in some ways and you just want to go on a new journey and just kind of let go of your responsibilities for a while. I'm getting that kind of energy from it too. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice. I don't know, different states, different person. I don't know what's happening here, but my voice is getting really raspy here and um, and I know it keeps changing the camera view. So let me know in the comments if you like this way so you can see the actual um, board here. But uh, I'm, I'm waiting for my table to come in. For some of you that don't know, I just moved to Nevada and we have nothing here yet until all our furniture gets here. Um, <clears throat> but anyways, the world in reverse. Overall, completely overall energy is talking about a little bit of unfinished business, some things that maybe have been going on for a while. And again, with that full card, I feel like there's a part of you that just kind of wants to put something aside for a little bit and just go with something new, um, something out of the ordinary, possibly um, just getting you kind of out of a rut, getting you out of a routine. Um, I also feel like it could be somebody obviously coming back in most of these tarot reads regarding love. Um, somebody coming back or a situ it could even be a situation coming back around that you weren't expecting okay um you weren't expecting something to come around could be a, uh, could be a friend family co-worker something that you thought was long gone um some unfinished business but it's coming around to show its face again because something needs to be resolved okay so let's see how that comes into play as you get strong fixed energy so um really steadfast energy um stubborn energy you know, once you have your mind kind of set on something, energy, you don't give up, which is why I'm feeling like there's, for some of you, there's a situation where it's not that you're giving up on a situation, but you may be just taking a step back to um, to reevaluate, you know, and do something different for a minute um, and just see where this, you know, let this set aside for a sec. All right. But let's see how it comes up with these cards. Um, let's see, for Sagittarius. Sagittarius. I feel like you want, you really do want something to, you want closure on something. And for some of you, I feel like, you know, you really, um, you like to travel. You want to get out there and go somewhere, but things have been holding you back as well. All right. So we have professional assistance, people. All right. So this is where this could be that fool card taking, um, taking a leap of faith here. You may be meeting somebody um, soon here on uh, that's going to help you see the light um, on a, in a different in a different perspective. Okay, um, you may be, and I feel like this has a lot to do with work. Obviously, um, school something where you're trying, you just bump in your head. You don't know which way to go. You don't know what to do. Um, and I feel like um, you have somebody here, or you're asking for professional assistance, you're asking for some guidance from somebody, it could be a collaboration with somebody, um, could definitely be just help at work, something like that, where you're stuck on something and um, you know, you're kind of stubborn, you like to do things yourself, but you may be needing to reach out and ask for a little assistance in a situation. Okay, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, we have friends and colleagues again. So for a lot of you, I feel like the beginning, towards the beginning, the mid to end June is a lot about work here for you. Okay, a lot about work, a lot about socializing with your colleagues, um, a lot of um, a lot of communication. 
a lot of communication, I feel. Um, different ideas, that ideas, my Boston just came up. Different ideas and different um, perspectives from other people. And I, again, this friends and colleagues is talking about you just going out there and doing something a little bit different. Maybe it's been a while since you've been hanging out with some friends and just trying to have a good time and just stress less about a situation that's going on or just stress less about what's going on um, going on in your other departments of your life. But I do feel like I get this energy of um, you're tired of things not moving in, in the work, maybe place, workplace, and you're starting to actually reach out and ask because you're really getting to this, not desperate energy, but energy of, um, all right, like, it's just, I'm a sad, I want things to move, I want things to get done, I want things, I want to, um, I don't like waiting basically. I don't want to keep waiting for this. I need some, some direction. So I don't know how that applies to you. You can apply anywhere in your life, but um, two here. We have hidden motivations coming um, out. I usually don't take these cards. Once in a while, I take them in reverse, but I feel like um, you may be um, somebody's intention, somebody's motivations towards um, being around you or connecting with you could be, um, could be revealed. Okay, and I feel like the dark thoughts here, there's two threes here. I feel like for some of you, this is something you might be battling, is you feel like somebody's hiding something from you. Okay, you really do. There's a part of you, and it could be in any situation, and this could be what you're wanting to let go of for a little bit. Um, you just feel like somebody is not being 100% honest with you, and, um, you know, maybe you, you're not being 100% honest with yourself either. What are your real motivations within a situation? But I do know it's weighing heavy on you. Um, it's making you think a little negatively. Um, somebody somebody could be intentionally trying to make you feel feel bad. Under What are they called? Underhanded uh, compliments, backhanded compliments. You know, I feel like, um, I feel like uh, it's, it's, there's somebody or some, something going on in your life where, um, somebody's not being completely honest with you and it's weighing heavy on you, okay? I get the number 13, I get, um, which is all about change and transformation. Um, score could be Scorpio in your, in your life, but I feel like um, it, there's about to be an end into this and a new phase, especially with the number 13 um, popping up. Like maybe it's time to end this. It's time to just drop these thoughts about this situation. Some of you may be letting something hold on um, a little bit too long or something bother you a little too much. I get kindred partnership, okay? So I do see somebody around you who, and there's two ones now, okay? New beginnings, um, that fool energy, okay? I feel like there could be somebody around you um, who you just feel really close to. This doesn't have to be a lover. Um, it could be a best friend, it could be a brother, sister, a cousin, uncle, um, anything like that, who just, you just run into um, when you need to get a break, okay? You just run to this person when you really need to get a break away. And I feel like this person's going to be the one that kind of says, um, hey, maybe you should try this or give you an idea or an inspiration um, or just takes you out and does something with you um, to where you, I'm really stuck on that full energy of carefree kind of like have, taking this leap of faith and trying something totally different, all right? I feel like this person here may also be bringing to light somebody's hidden motivations and it will help you with these negative thoughts. Um, I think some of you may be constantly weighing on yourself thinking that some things are true or maybe you have done something wrong and I feel like this person's going to bring to light like it's it's not really that, that you did anything wrong I feel like you're just looking at something a little bit differently and you're looking in the wrong places um, or you're connecting with the wrong person or the wrong people okay the honoring path okay so I feel like towards the end of June this two sevens to your numbers are really coming strong for me because they're repetitive you have two sevens two ones and two threes um, and those like it's funny because it's the odd one three seven you're just missing the fives for the odd numbers right but um, I feel like uh, spirits with you. I feel like um, you are going down the right path. I feel like there's just some, there, there's a little bit of resistance here. And I feel like somebody's coming in to guide you um, in the right direction. I feel like for some of you, you may have just kind of went off on a little 
um, you got diverted a little bit and um, his universe his universe speaking through your kindred partnership saying this is the direction you need to be going into um, moving moving this way um, and I feel like once you uh, step into this light and you start turning your perspective and you start you give this um, whatever's coming up to you a chance I feel like you're really going to have this aha moment like I finally feel like I have the right direction and it's funny because it starts off with professional assistance and then it shows you're starting to progress into the honoring path which is telling me that um, you are finding your way your higher self is working for you here you must have asked for something because it's been driving you crazy with that world in reverse things are not moving fast enough for you and it's driving you nuts and you're like screaming out like you know give me some direction help me here somebody could be 37 born in 73 um could be 31 33 and i feel like uh, born in 71 too sorry i'm playing with numbers um somebody could like playing with numbers could be um, into math pretty big um but anyways, I feel like um, it starts off with you asking for assistance. It's your um, higher self finally saying, all right, here, I'm going to show you the doorway. And that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like you're being directed to your doorway. Right? You've asked enough. You've, you've asked and you're being answered. Okay. So I have victim mentality. And I'm going to take this one in reverse because I see you no longer um, in these dark thoughts that may have been happening in the beginning of um, this when all this was happening, okay, when something came to light, I feel like um, you're now seeing some, you're seeing it differently here. There's another seven, that's three sevens for you. Strong spirit guides, okay? Um, and I just feel like you're just in your knowing now. You're in your knowing here that everything is working out um, in your favor and you're being directed in the right path. I feel like you're starting to feel pretty good too. Intuition and manifestation. There's another three here, so now you have three threes. All right, I feel like pulling one more just to see if you get a one just for the hell of it. Now you got consciousness five, but it's not yours. Um, I feel like intuition and manifestation towards the end of June, I'm feeling like you're gonna start seeing um, awesome movement and you're just like wow I see why I had to go through all that and you're very very grateful for this partnership this person who is right in the middle here who's really by your side and helping you and guide you so this could be a friend like I said it could be a lover you know it could be the person on your mind they might be coming in to say you know I know we're not doing so well um, you know in our relationship right yet but I'm still your friend and I still care about you and they could be coming in to help you um, to help you get through whatever you're, you're trying to get through now what does Alice have for you curiouser and curiouser discovery inquiry weirdness curiosity okay and this is um, discover this I feel like this is kind of the energy that you should be taking on um, is asking a lot of questions, um, trying to discover new things about yourself, new things about other people. Um, and I'm also getting this message that as things start to shift for you, and I, and if it's uncomfortable or it starts to be uncomfortable because you're moving into a, a different, um, different playing grounds, right? Just ask questions and if things start to feel or seem weird, um, the more curious you are about it, the more you ask questions, the more you're gonna um, figure out um, you have all the answers is what I feel like saying, but I feel like um, you're discovering a lot of new things about yourself. And um, I just think this is the beginning of the path. It's a number nine there, which is to me, it's just all about um, independency and, um, you know, taking care of yourself, self-love, that last step before completion, 10, you know, and just really, um, just, I don't know, I just feel like that fool energy just diving right in with that. Um, I'm really drawn to the words inquiry and curiosity and discovery. And that's that fool card. Just go at it and jump, jump all in. Okay. So I don't know where this, these messages and how they apply to you guys, but take them as is. You can apply them to any area of your life. Um, even love because this is a general read, but I am going to pull some romance angels to see if, um, you know, let's move in that direction a little bit and see what, uh, what's going on. You may have dealt with some unrequited love in the past here, um, but I see your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together, calling in your soulmate. 
Um, this could be somebody that in the past you felt like um, wasn't putting enough energy into the relationship as much as you wanted them to. Um, at this point, it's hard to tell if this is just somebody completely new that you're trying to call in. Um, but it's it's showing that you're manifesting. It's showing that you really do understand um, the law of assumption, law of attraction, and affirmations and visualizations. And I feel like for a lot of you, you've been spending a lot of time trying to manifest love into your life. Okay. And stay optimistic about your, your love life. Okay. And this could be um, where it was a little bit, it was in reverse. And I feel like maybe for a while there, these dark thoughts, you, somebody else, you wanted somebody else with the hidden motives there, that unrequited love. You wanted them to be more, and I feel like um, they didn't pull through for you, and that's where your negative thinking and your lack of your negative look out, outlook on love life was um, was really in the dumps. And I feel like this person here, this kindred partnership, comes in to say, you know, hey, um, you know, I know you. I didn't want to say. It's kind of like I'm getting. I didn't want to say. I told you so. I didn't want to say. I told you so. Okay, because your person loves you. This kindred spirit loves you. Okay, release your ex, all right? And it's right, I'm just, for some reason, I'm being called to say it like this. Sometimes I get called to connect the cards um, and I'm feeling like this kindred, I'm really attached to this kindred spirit here. I feel like this could be your soulmate and you may not know it. It could be somebody who is really close to you, also a friend, something like that, that is really your soulmate. And you know, your soulmates don't have to be lovers. But it's a possibility that this could be somebody who ends up being your lover and you just don't know it yet. And I don't think this person has hidden motivations. They could possibly be the one that's hiding their true feelings from, for you, all right? They really, it could be. But I feel like an innocent energy. Like, you know, I really love you. I'm not trying to take advantage of this situation. I'm just, I really am your friend as well too. But if we could be something more, I definitely would take it kind of energy. It's not going to shift the way this person really feels about you and about how you've been taken in the past. This person is really, really um, on your side, okay, really trying to help you. And it's saying, you know, the time has come to clear your energy of this past person that was very unrequited. And then this past life relationship, okay, it's this kindred spirit. You have known each other before and you know this. Okay, so if this is somebody who is around you that you feel like you've known before, or you um, are just, so for some of you, it could be new. It's so general here, okay? Play with the energies. Could be completely new, but you definitely feel a strong connection towards somebody here, and it is a soulmate, and it's talking about love yourself first, the honor and path. Your self-respect makes you more romantically romantically attractive, and I feel like that's what you're doing um, as you're trying to say, all right, I'm going to put down this situation for a little bit, and I'm going to move forward and work on myself here, and where you come out of that victim mentality, you're like, this isn't, you know, I'm seeing things differently, okay? I'm not going to sit here and feel sorry for me myself um i i'm t too good for that okay I'm, I'm too good for that romantic feelings here okay so there are some romantic feelings that you are having towards somebody and it could be um this person is kindred spirit right but it also could be the past person that you're still kind of holding on to but for this one it says your feelings are real and worth exploring so i'm kind of getting the feeling that it is towards this newer person or somebody else around you all right because get, getting to know each other all right, so this does feel like a fairly new person, making the effort, all right? So it's getting to know each other, make the effort. This is about you deciding. Um, some of you, you could have had a unrequited love in a wedding, I mean, in a marriage or a long-term commitment, all right? So this might have not have been like just somebody just friends with benefits with somebody who was seriously, um, you were committed to, you really gave your all to, and it was just always unrequited. Okay, I do get finances and, and, and career here talking about there is some shifts in your monies here as well. And this is could be where you're, you're connecting with this kindred spirit. It is safe for you to love here. It is safe. So once you open your heart to give and receive the highest and open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all and make that effort here with this person. I do feel like um, I feel drawn to pull the hidden truth and find out a little bit about this past person that could have been some long-term relationship that you've been um, really focusing on that you don't want to be over. And I think um, towards the end of June, guys, I think unexpectedly, you're just going to have somebody else come in and say, enough, enough. Like, you don't deserve this, okay? 
And I just want to see what this says. I'm not available. Um, and so this is, I'm talking about your past person. I regret lying to you. So I feel like I'm not available and I regret lying to you is, is their higher self saying to you, I was never available. I was never, I was never, I was never emotionally whole. I was never fully committed to this relationship and I took things out on you. I regret lying to you. You know, they sought for something, for some reason, they sought externally for other ways to fill voids. And that could, that could be any, that could be anything to you. Okay. And, but they do regret lying to you. Um, but I do love you unconditionally. So that is known. This person does love you unconditionally. There's a place in, you know, you guys were bonded for a long time for some of you, but this person was never hundred percent whole and it drains you. Okay. So moving forward, let's just move forward real quick and see, um, what's going on with you continuing towards the end of June. And then if this is um, resonating with you, I'm going to go into um, the extended. I'm really going to dive deep into your love, um, however this turns out here, and to see, you know, see what other, get really nosy. And um, I, sometimes in my extendeds, I go completely, it just takes me in a whole different, whole different read, whole different life, whole di a whole different life of its own. Okay, but we'll move out to the next few months and see what's going on as well, too. All right, so in the recent past here, there's that fool card, that fool card, right? Mother of Pentacles, you contemplating here, um, you know, just, just taking a break and moving forward. The Three of Pentacles, all right? So this is has to do, it could be with work, um, but it's talking about working on something, working on things. And I feel like you are kind of the fool right in the middle here just taking a chance here and I feel like there's something else coming up with a collaboration with somebody else maybe at work or something or just collaborating and deciding to work on something with somebody okay but you really are in contemplation mode here with that queen of pentacles and you're really you're tired of being stressed here you're really trying to take care of yourself and nurture yourself and um, it's asking for a lot of faith here okay and then we have the sun of cups here in reverse so somebody closing up in the in the uh, as we move on in, in the, the current energy, um, somebody closing off their heart. And we have the two of wands in, in reverse. So not even trying to make contact, maybe even having you blocked. And then we have the magician. So we have, this is all about, remember, calling in your soulmate here, healing. Um, I feel like this person, because this person here has blocked their heart off from you. It could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio from your past. They really made the decision just to not communicate and not take any action towards this right now. They don't feel like getting out of their comfort zone. They don't feel like changing their ways. And I feel like here you are the magician, you know, intuition and manifesting. Like you're starting to say, um, you know, I want to choose something different here. You're doing, you're calling in your soulmate. You want the real deal. And this could be where you're really practicing your affirmations and visualizing and things like that. But you're really using all the tools you have to help yourself heal and grow from this and to expand. You're not trying to wallow in anything with this energy here. It's really all about healing. And our, I always just want to say Archangel Raphael. So towards the end of June, here we go, the two of cups, man. Somebody really wanting to open up their hearts. You know, possible soulmate here. Um, really wanting to communicate with you. The sun card, come on. They just look at you like a big ball of light. Um, there could be a Leo you're connecting with too. Um, they want a companionship with you. They want, um, they just love being around you and they find so much joy with you. You with this person too as well. And I have the outcome, the lovers in reverse, okay? So not sure about making a choice here. The star in reverse, okay? Because I feel, well, I want to get this, okay? The father of pentacles. You're really contemplating here. And I feel like you've been disappointed here in the past. And this, with this past lover of yours, okay? And it's showing up right here with this past lover that you're moving really slow with this person here, this kindred spirit, okay? So... You you understand the bond here. I think you like the kindred spirit here with this person, but I think there's a part of you that is saying, I want to move slower here um, until I heal because I'm still trying to heal from this past person. But remember, I have released your ex. Release your ex, okay? And this is what's showing up for you right here. Let me clarify these cards for you, and then we're going to go into the extended um, real quick. So you could have been connected with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. 
But I really do get this strong feeling that you're ready to change your course um, and you're focusing more on work, okay? This person who's blocking you from the past is really, really, I really feel like you're really focused on this person, okay? And you're trying to manifest them in. And I feel like you're so focused on this person, you won't let go of it, which is why the world's in reverse, okay? And, um, but this person, this soulmate that's around you, this other person is really want, they're hiding their true feelings for you. Um, because they're so happy around you and they want this to work, but they're willing to wait for you to um, kind of release your ex. That's the thing I'm getting. So remember I said earlier, like they're okay with just being friends. They would like to be something more with you, but I feel like they're kind of being your shoulder to cry on for the moment and they will wait until you're ready to, um, to kind of take a chance with them, okay? Because you do have romantic feelings for this person, but you are caught on your past person still, okay? So let me get one more shuffle. I'm just going to pull a couple cards here for this. And then we'll go into the... Um, clarify this two of cups here. The queen of wands. Aries, Leo, Sag. So there you are. All right, so you are battling your feelings right now, maybe between the two, okay? Definitely battling your feelings between the two. I think you feel really comfortable around this kindred spirit and you could see yourself moving on with this person, but you're still battling the past, okay? You're battling the no communication that you're that you you're still um stuck, emotionally stuck on the fact that there's no communication with your past lover. Okay, the sun card, the world card. That's exactly what I was saying. Your person is gonna wait for you wait for you for to get closure with your past person and they're gonna they're gonna wait they're your friend no matter what they're gonna wait and they're gonna move into this new phase with you whenever you're ready could be a Taurus Scorpio Leo Aquarius okay strong Leo energy there all right the lovers and here you are the magician in reverse here um and the, you need to let go here so here you're manifesting remember I was saying you're manifesting your ex back right this one here is saying, with the magician showing up in reverse and the letting go part, I feel like you need to let go of manifesting this past person for the time being and nurture. You've got the you've got the uh, mother of pentacles to start this with and you've got the father of pentacles to end this with. I feel like it's telling you, let go of um, just for the time being. Nothing's ever written in stone. Let go of this. Release your ex that you're focusing so much on and 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 just trust with that fool card with this new person here because I feel like you're walking into something that's a little bit that's going to be your end all be all you're starting with the mother of pentacles ending with the father of pentacles of true devotion here true love true love all right remember you have free will you always have free will um, let me pull up one universe card and then I'm going to go into the extended and we'll take a further look into seeing how this pans out, um, how this person feels about you, if maybe the ex is returning. Um, I, you know, like I said, you never know with the, the other, um, with, the, with the extended. I recognize that I have chosen fear and I choose again. I choose love. Okay. I feel like that stamps this entire thing. I feel like you have been afraid to let go of your past um, person because you were invested so much in it. You've invested so much, remember, with that world card in reverse, and you just don't want to let go of it. You don't want to close it yet, or you need closure. And I feel like you have were stuck in this fear mentality, these dark thoughts about this person, um, or the way this person didn't show up for you really kept you there. I feel like you're choosing love now. You're choosing yourself. And that's why you're, you and the new person or you and your friend or whoever this is, is showing up as um, a pentacles, a king, queen of pentacles. All right. So I love you. Hit the like button, subscribe. And I'm sorry about my voice. And um, maybe there's some, maybe like I said, you need to communicate, more communication with your throat chakra. But um, I'll see you in the extended. Take care.